going to the air without my parents' knowledge. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. This is Texas Tim Cebu PH. I'm here with this beautiful young lady, Miss Darkas. Yeah. We're gonna find out what made her come to the Philippines. What yeah. strives her to keep staying here? And let's see what her answers are. Stay tuned, folks. Here we go. Yeah. And if you are not yet subscribed, tell me what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell notification so that you can always be notified whenever they upload a new video. And always like, always like, and make sure you leave your comments down below. So thank you so much. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to Darkus and Raymond. Yeah. Let's help them. Yes. And we are their friends. Yeah. Let's make it happen for yeah. each and every one of us. Yes. Thank you for your subscription. If you yeah. haven't subscribed yet, jump on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> help out your sister help out yeah. your brother let's do this yes okay, okay. <laughs> let's find out something yeah. right now from your young lady okay <laughs> what made you come to the philippines from the start okay so while i was in high school before i got to my final stage in high school i had always wanted to you know to study outside of my country yeah i've always wanted and i have my diary i brought my diary with me to the philippines it is so old now but i wrote there i want to study outside my country and i was in high school uh, senior high school but i think i still have one more year to leave high school then when i wrote that so i'd always wanted to leave my country because uh i would i won't consider consider myself super bright but i'm bright in my school so i kind of you know set goals higher goals for myself so when i graduated from high school i was looking for how i can study outside my country yeah. actually it is my goal to study outside of my country yeah. not my parents goal yeah, so i am yeah. the one who did most of the work myself mm -hmm. i remember going to a company because while I was in high school, I attended a symposium and they gave me a leaflet that if you want to study outside your country, you want to study in this country, come to our office, we can help you. So I oh, remember wow. I went there without my parents' knowledge. <laughs> and I went there to tell them, how can I, okay, the, the country was um, Norway. Oh, Norway, yeah. wow. Yeah, so I went there and that day there was a robbery. Mm. Oh my goodness, there was a robbery that day because where the company is at, there are a lot of banks. Mm. So there were robbers that day that everybody had to run inside. But I was out there, out there, that day. I used to think that what if something had happened to me? My parents would be mm. like, where did she go to? <laughs> <laughs> so I went to that company and then they told me that I have to pay this so, so and so amount of money to study in Norway. Which I was a bit skeptical because my parents are not rich. Because I told myself that if I pay this sum of money, and what if I fail the exam? Is mm -hmm. the money gone? Mm -hmm. But now I know better because you don't actually need to write any exam to study in Norway. And the tuition in Norway, it mm -hmm. is free. Oh, All you wow. have to do is to show your, your proof of funds. Mm -hmm. Your proof of funds that you can support yourself in Norway. Because Norway is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. So even if the tuition fee is free, you need a lot of money to sustain, to sustain your yourself. Yeah, yeah, there. So you don't need to take any exam. I know better now, but you know, some companies, they will try to get some money from you while you are applying. So later on, there was this, you know, this person I met from the church whose son was studying here in the Philippines. So they helped students to study in the Philippines because his son was studying medicine here mm -hmm. in Cebu City. So he was the one who told me about the Philippines and then I informed my mom and then we started planning towards this and yeah. it came into manifestation and tada i was in the philippines <laughs> here, she, here she is already what one year in no i'm studying in i'm four years four. in the philippines oh, wow. <laughs> i got it backwards folks the girl's been here a while <laughs> yeah uh, that's so good. that's how i got to the philippines and i I'm studying here in the Philippines. <laughs> and obviously your parents are happy for you that yeah. you're doing well. That's good. Yeah. That's excellent. So what is your outtake now on being here 
And how do you feel about the Philippines as far as living wise, the person, the people you meet, the yeah. food you eat? Yeah, to be honest, the total culture. I would always say that I am so grateful for coming to the Philippines mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Because I've learned so much in the Philippines that I might not have learned, you know, if I were to be in another country. Because Philippines is a tourist country, right? Yeah. You meet a lot of people from different parts of the world. And I am opportuned to always meet foreigners. I mm -hmm. always engage with foreigners. So I always learn a lot. Like being in the Philippines, I know so much about different countries, yeah. even though I haven't been there before. Mm -hmm. So when I first arrived in the Philippines, I remember looking at the Philippines and I'm like, can I survive in this country? I can never forget. <laughs> yeah. While I was in Nigeria, I had always prayed for the time I'm going to be, I'm going to leave home because I and my mother being the first child, we always have disagreements. My mother <laughs> always called me and I'll be like, I can't wait to go to college. I want to go. But when I came to the Philippines, like two or three days in the Philippines, I went to the rooftop. I cried so much mm -hmm. because I miss my mom my siblings but now look at me <laughs> so when it comes to the philippines philippines is a very good country like the people ah, they will blow your mind away philippines has very accommodating people yeah like sometimes people get people ask me that are you a filipino i'm not a filipino I just have a lot of Filipino families, <laughs> but I'm not a Filipino. Like, Filipino, Philippines is a country that will accommodate you mm -hmm. and make you feel at home. You don't have to worry. And then, I feel so safe in the Philippines, considering the type of country where I was born and used to live that has a lot of crimes. Mm -hmm. I tell people, I have never experienced, you know, thefts before, like somebody coming to my room, taking my stuff. Mm -hmm. Never. Like, even some Filipinos always disagree with me. In the Philippines, you can sleep in your room, leaving your door, not locked. You're going to sleep and wake up, nothing is going to happen to you. Some people, Filipinos are like, oh, don't, don't leave your door. But if you are in my country, you will know the difference. That's, right. The difference is huge. In my country, you have to use like three different keys to lock your house. Wow. But in the, yeah. That's shocking. Yeah, Apart yeah, yeah. from this door, like your main door, you will have an ex like a gate, like a melter, something that will still cover that door. And then you will still have a gate with a fence so high <laughs> that nobody is wow. going to. <laughs> but in the Philippines, I feel so safe here. I've never experienced crime, like kidnapping, not even accidents. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I feel like Philippines has a very high in a very low level no, of never. accidents. Mm -hmm. Like I've never seen, I've never had news that a boss, just few, most of the accidents I hear or I read about, they are just like little in the road like mm -hmm. that, but like a major accident, right. like 20 people dead or mm. never, I've never experienced. But in my country, no, <laughs> people <laughs> die every day <laughs> on road accidents. Yeah, so I feel so safe here. The people loving, caring, accommodating, like I would recommend the Philippines for anybody to come to because when it comes to the expenses also, it is not really expensive. At the same time, I would not call it cheap because cheap, you know, um, when it comes to people personally, the word cheap can mm -hmm. mean different things. Yeah. What is cheap to me might not be cheap to you. Yeah. Yeah. But I would just say it is less expensive. It is, it is a country where you can survive. You, the food they are so they are not expensive like i don't spend a lot like for me to go to the market the public market i only take 1k pesos oh wow <laughs> yeah That's i good. take 1k pesos i buy rice i buy this i buy that i'm okay i'm good i'm good even the calendarias eating, eating outside they don't cost a lot the house also i tell you in the philippines if you want to live a very expensive life it is here for you but if you want to live you know, to the level where you can afford, you can also get that in the Philippines. Right. So it depends on what you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Philippines is okay. The people, you would definitely love it. Plus the beaches, beautiful places you can. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. That is why I tell myself I'm never going to leave the Philippines without exploring, you mm -hmm. know, the all of the Philippines. I always feel sorry for some people who come to the Philippines, but they never explore. They only come to study. And they go, they deprive themselves of the phone. I'm never mm -hmm. doing that. <laughs> I used to be a homebody before. Mm -hmm. Never goes yeah. out, only goes to school. 
Charles Om. School just Om, but not anymore. I go around. <laughs> yeah. Want to explore and see yeah. different things. And, and that's mainly what we came out here for to do, too, is explore. But with the pandemic, we got stuck at <laughs> one place. But um, I'm happy for you, and you sound like you're very happy about being here and very yes. excited. And, mm. you know, it's a lot of truth what you said. Everything is cheap. Some yeah. stuff may not be cheap to them, but yeah. to us it is. And yeah. uh, me coming from America, she, my wife tells me something. Oh, this only costs this. What? That's all? Yeah. And people look at you like, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I understand the difference. And, you know, I don't throw it in nobody's face. If I could share with them, I'll share with them. And yeah. she'll tell you right now, I give people stuff that probably cost me hundreds of dollars. And I just give wow. it to them. It's like, here. Yeah. And she clothes and stuff that I have, expensive stuff. Yeah. They don't have it here. Yeah. And I yeah. don't, if, if they wear it, I don't look at them and say, I that's my that clothes. No, <laughs> no. You don't do that. That's no. clothes. Let them have Yeah. It. Yeah. So the Philippines is a very nice country. Even the the Filipinos, there are a lot of Filipinos that are rich, you know, that are wealthy. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're going to see some people, they have a lot of money, but you can't tell, you can't, you might not know just by looking at them because what they wear is just simple, but they are, they have only wealthy own. Oh, yeah. You won't sell. So yeah. I really like the Philippines. I like the fact that I feel safe here. I mm -hmm. like the fact that the people are accommodating, like mm -hmm. they are so loving. I go somewhere, they offer me food. They cook, they offer me food. They want to eat together with you. They keep on inviting you. Mm -hmm. Let's go, yo, you're invited. Let's come here. You're invited. Oh, yeah. I like it about the Philippines. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because in my country, if you give me food, I won't eat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because you can't trust nobody. Yeah. Like there are a lot of it has a lot of bad people in the Philippines in Nigeria rather pretty much jealousy yeah you know. jealousy like yeah. if you're doing well they're not happy for you so if you give me something I, I might collect it but at your back I would throw it away because I don't know your intentions because mm -hmm. I, I used to read a lot of news my mother makes me you know read a lot of things that can teach me to be you know to be to be aware cautious, of my environment yeah. to be cautious because i've read news of family poison all of them wow. they they cook they all ate they were poisoned you know it's so sad but in the philippines nobody's gonna kill you nobody's gonna poison you because you all eat together mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so i'm not afraid mm -hmm. if i go anywhere they offer me food best believe i'm never going to say no i will be like oh the girl salaman thank you <laughs> Good, that's good. <laughs> now, here goes a subject I want to touch on. How did you become a friend to Raymond? How did that go? Okay. Over with your family. In case you don't know who Raymond is, Raymond is my Filipino boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did I meet Raymond? So, I have a family here in Toledo, right? Yeah. And I came into Toledo to spend like a staycation for some days. But I ended up spending a month. <laughs> a month. Yeah. Days into month, huh? I think even more than a month. I don't know, but I think a month. Yeah. So while I came to Toledo, a lot of my subscribers had recommended I met I meet Raymond's friend, right? Who is also a vlogger. So I had chatted him up and tell him, Oh, I'm coming to Toledo. Let's meet da, 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 da. and he was like, Okay, you can come and meet me. This is my house. Mm -hmm. So I went to meet him and we made video together. We made videos together. And that was where I met Raymond. And when I met Raymond, it was just like, it was so quick. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> like, I, we didn't even <laughs> really spend a lot of time together. It was just, it was so quick because I never thought I would end up with a Filipino. <laughs> so what we call that love at first sight? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know. I never in my life, you know, I, I don't like to say this. But before I used to have stereotypes about Filipino men. I'm mm. like, no, my my friends they used to make just of me that the used to say, I can never date a Filipino. I can never date a Filipino. But now you are with a Filipino. So when I met Raymond, it was so quick. We just said I, 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 and then he left. But I never knew the history behind Raymond. <laughs> that Raymond always wanted to have a foreigner girlfriend, right? So everybody knows, like. Mm -hmm. Every, Raymond has a lot of fans. Everybody knows mm -hmm. he always wanted to have a Filipino girlfriend because Raymond, um, a foreigner girlfriend because Raymond doesn't have a girlfriend and he always prays that God will send him his girlfriend. So whenever people send things, things to him, he always asks them, why about my girlfriend? I will send to my girlfriend. <laughs> so when I came there, a lot of people were now saying that, oh, the foreigner girl has finally arrived, even though yeah. I never knew the backstory. I was shocked. Who is the? What are they talking about? 
the foreigner girl has finally arrived like that and then i got to know everything that raymond always wanted a foreigner girlfriend and i just came there to interview raymond and then l forty started talking and everybody started saying oh the marshal goes together and then i me and raymond became friends i invited him over for dinner like that mm. we hung down together and then we began to become friends and like each other mm-hmm. and he asked me to be his girlfriend and i said yes <laughs> that's awesome so that's when awesome. it comes to my parents reaction my mother f- found out i have a filipino boyfriend but she, there was nothing like nothing bad like she didn't mm. call me and tell me no you cannot know mm. like um i've been in the kind of situation like i've been in the kind of position in my life where i can make decisions for myself as long as it is good even if my parents tells me oh this is my my mother tells me this is this is not good i would do what i want to do as long as it is like it is right i would think about the right thing for me so my mother never said anything bad like she knows i have a filipino boyfriend and she watches my channel even my dad watches Mm. my channel and then he keep on telling me because my mother and my dad, my dad are not together. Mm-hmm. They, are, they are not together, no. And then my dad keeps on telling me that, oh, how about Raymond? I say hi to Raymond for me. He always <laughs> sends me texts like that. So my family are not against, you know, getting married to somebody mm-hmm. that is from a different culture, mm-hmm. including me, myself. I have siblings and I don't care who they marry to as long as the person loves them and is God fearing. Mm-hmm. I don't care if they get married to an, an Asian, a Topian, yeah. because God created all of us. So why should we, you know, why should there be disparity or why should there be segregation? Mm-hmm. No, no. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Last and final, <laughs> do you ever plan on going back to your country and visit with Raymond? Yes. Yeah. I do have a plan to go back to my country and visit with Raymond, but I do not have plans to live in my country. Right. Yeah. I'm still studying in the Philippines, and after I graduate, I just want to take my exams mm-hmm. and see another way forward, you know, with my life and go to the next stage of my life like that. But I do not have plans to, you know, to live in my country, I'd rather live in the Philippines than live in... Right. I've said everything about my country, it is scary. <laughs> yeah. So I'd rather stay in a place that guarantees me safety, where I'm happy, I'm with kind people, loving people, mm-hmm. you know. I'd rather stay there. So I don't have plans to live in my country, but I have plans to visit Nigeria because my parents, my mother is there, my dad mm-hmm. is there, and my siblings are still there. So I was awesome. just like Mam Rose, look at Mam Rose. Mam Rose came back to the Philippines, even though she has been in the U.S. for long. <laughs> yeah. And she came back with a foreigner. <laughs> yeah, she came back. <laughs> yeah, yes. and you know, I've never been here, but I'm happy. Really? You know, my first visit. So we're going to end this <laughs> end this conversation also mm-hmm. saying thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Raymond and mm-hmm. Darkest. Yeah. Also, Darkest. Yeah. Channel. Also, Texas Ten yeah. Cebu PH. If you haven't done it yet, yes. check us out. Yes, yes. We're gonna yes. soon be doing with her approval and Raymond <laughs> approval a couples yeah. video for yeah. you guys. Yes. Right. Thank so, you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts down below. And they will see you in your next video. Until then, peace. Thank you. <laughs>